What's good guys, it's Ryan's Rides. I'm back here at Maserati Alfa Romeo of Daytona Beach. And I wanted to share something with you guys that I found out that is a quick video that might help you if you own a Julia. Some of you might already know this, so if you do, disregard the video. Um, but for those who don't, you can actually start your Alfa Romeo Julia with a dead key fob. Um, so the key fob obviously is what gets you in the car, um, either via pressing the unlock button here, or putting your hand, or well, lock it again, putting your hand here and doing keyless entry, automatically unlocking it. But what if this is dead? What happens then? Well, you can actually pop open the key and unlock it and then start it by putting the transmitter um, in the transmitter station in the center of the armrest. So I'll show you that really quick. I'm going to slightly pop this open because I can't do it with one hand, but you see the grips are on the side here and that, you know, will slide it down on each side and it will uh, reveal the um, key, the uh, physical key to unlock the door. So let's do that first. All right. So what you would do was grab these on the grips on each side here and you would just slide the backing off which reveals the physical key here so you see it's right inside of there and you just easily take it out um see if i can't really do it with one hand but flip yep there you go flip it out and it's that simple so after that put the key fob in your pocket and you would use the physical key to unlock the door so obviously we all know how this goes. Um, anybody who has lived in the ages uh, before keyless entry, stick that in there, unlock, and you're good. But you definitely want to not forget this and pull it back out. And then we'll step into the car. Okay, so now let's get into this beautiful Julia Quadrifoglio here. Close the door. And inside, you know, we have the transmitter that we've all seen inside the glove box here. And that transmitter is gonna communicate with the car once you put the key fob there. Now, obviously, when the key fob is dead, you can't get any kind of range. But when the key fob is on the transmitter here, you can set it right there and it will communicate with the car. Now. You know, I can't really prove that this works, obviously, because this key fob is not dead. But from there is where you would start your car. I uh, wish I had a dead key fob to prove this, but in order for me to actually take the battery, uh, I feel like um, this has to actually be ripped apart, which we don't really want to do. Um, so I think it's just easier to explain it to you guys that you can have it done and I guess if you're in this situation to where you have no other choice and you need to do it and it works, then you'll thank me. <laughs> so this is one of those videos to where you hope you never have to use it. But if you do, then, you know, it's great to know. So you can get your, um, your car wherever you need to get it and, you know, get your battery, you know, your uh, key fob battery replaced. But it's still, you know, an option to get in and out of the car and start it for the most part, which is the most important part, um, with the dead key fob. So that's what that transmitter there is sitting there for, and that's why you would put that there to communicate with the car. So it's nice to have. Obviously, it's it's a lifesaver in, in most instances, and you know, I'm kind of jealous because the Ghibli doesn't have anything like that. I mean, I've had my Ghibli for um, two years now, and I haven't had to replace the key fob, so that's a thing so you know it, it might last you a while depending on how much you use your car so you know it's just something nice to know so we'll take that out and do a quick spin around the car for those who haven't seen it but yeah pretty awesome i mean it's just a uh, something uh, good for need to know like i say you don't want to know it but Julia owners, you might already know this. Like I said, disregard the video if you do, but I just wanted to show others just in case they, you know, were in dire need.
So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and learned something here. Um, if you did, definitely give the video a like because we need to let other Alpha uh, Romeo owners see this if they don't know already. Uh, you know, it might save them in some instances. So get it up in the rankings. If you definitely love the amateur Maserati Alfa Romeo videos. Always uh, give me a subscribe there to keep coming back and shoot a comment below. Maybe there's some other things about um, the Julia that I don't know that might be very helpful for owners in dire need. Um, so with that said, guys, as always, appreciate you showing up. And I definitely want to let you know that more giveaways, the Christmas giveaway is going on right now, and more great videos are coming your way. Um, stay tuned. That's all I can say because we've got some good stuff coming. With that said, you guys be blessed. Have a great day. Talk to you in the next one. Peace.